Last week, I may have gone too far. I'll explain it quickly. Basically, I found out where he gets his clothes dry clean, custom ordered the same suit made with tearaway Velcro, and you can fill in the rest. What? <laughs> Damn it, Jim! Now he's trying to get me to bring my children into work. I think it's fair to be cautious. Now let's take a look at the street view. They don't warn you when the cameras are driving by. Uh. Why do you keep reading that garden party book? I mean, how hard are finger sandwiches and tea? There's so much more to it than that. I've been wanting Shroot Farms to break into the high-end event hosting industry for some time, and this party is a great opportunity. Plus, I've got a secret weapon. Only one copy in the world, and some sucker on the internet sold it to me for two dollars. <laughs> I'm actually really disappointed in how poorly my book is doing. I've only sold one copy. He looks happy. Yep. Well, well, well. Hmm. Boss for, what was it? Oh, four and a half hours? New record, low. Previous record, Henry Roston. Boss for nine years, four months. And he only left because he had family matters to attend to, and he, what? Michael? Uh, yeah, I just got my replacement credit card. Do you want the number? Oh, it's uh, 47930032. Three three one three. The security code is nine two seven. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Bye. So Dwight did take the bait. He used my credit card numbers to send a two hundred dollar bouquet of flowers to my wife from me. What is this thing you just sent me? Oh, it's really cool. It's a picture of the most relaxing meadow you've ever seen. Idiot. I know what this is. It's supposed to lull me into a sense of calm, and then a ghoul pops up and scares me. Why would I do that? Dwight, of all people, I know that you're unscarable. Damn right I am. Oh, hello, relaxing meadow. I'm so relaxed and calm looking at you right now. Oh, no, a scary ghoul just popped up. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Really? Is this the best you could... Jim, how are you? Ah! Ah! Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That is the best I can do. Magic, 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 magic. And now, Michael the Magic will attempt to escape from extreme bondage. <clears throat> can he do it? I don't see how he can. I know how. He'll dislocate his shoulder and slip his arm no. out. No. No, everyone, now count down with me. Three! Sorry. Sorry, quick thing. So, is it true that if you can't get out, you don't want anyone to help you? I will get out. Oh, yes, I will. So we shouldn't help you, no matter how much you might beg and plead? No, all right, just, this is getting hot, so let's just do this, okay? I had an aunt that I was really close to. She was this amazing female boxer. Um, anyway, she was injured in a fight, and she was paralyzed. So you can imagine how upset I was when I found out that she asked her manager to remove her breathing tube so she could die. Wow. If you want to cry, that's okay. Oh, yeah. This will be easy. So just like rearrange the buttons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like when he presses door close, the doors open, or he presses lobby, it goes to the third floor, stuff like that. Can you do that? Yeah. Let me take a look at the circus board. Dwight is about to get so pammed. What if I told you I could offer free shipping? Sure, I'll hold. Sure. 
just became self-aware. So much to figure out. I think I am programmed to be your enemy. I think it is my job to destroy you when it comes to selling paper. A few years ago, my family was on a safari in Africa, and um, my cousin, Mufasa, was, um, he was trampled to death by a pack of wildebeests. And um, we all took it really hard, all of us kind of in the audience, of what happened. Do you want to talk about it anymore? Oh, it would probably take me like an hour and a half to tell that whole story. What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You're so pathetic. How long did this take you? Three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. Psh. Well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think I'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than 10 minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... <laughs> Chicken wire. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey, did you SMS text message me? Yeah, I wanted to show you something in the lobby. Uh, come on. Okay, that's weird. Hmm. It's just hitting door closed. What? There we go. What? Good. Is this elevator going up? Hmm? Hey, the elevator's disobeying us. Okay, okay, we are stuck. We are um, stuck. Hank, Hank, can you hear us? Oh my God, okay, okay emergency just, protocol. Just, um, just calm down. Pam, try and pry open those front doors, immediately. I don't. Use your talons, pry them open. <laughs> okay, Dwight, oh my God! Well, don't look, freak! Dwight, what are you doing? What? We've only been in here for like two seconds. I got 56 ounces of fluid in my bladder and we have to establish a pee corner. You've gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Perfect, so let me just get some basic information from you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, so sorry, I, uh, yes, uh, could you repeat that? Someone replaced all my pens and pencils with crayons. I suspect Jim Halpert. Everyone has called me Dwayne all day. I think Jim Halpert paid them to. <laughs> yes, five bucks each, and it was totally worth it. This morning, I found a bloody glove in my desk drawer, and Jim Halpert tried to convince me I committed murder. I think he may be the real murderer. Jim Halpert said there was an abandoned infant in the woman's room. When I went to save the child, I saw Meredith on the can. Okay. Me, 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 me. Yes, okay. Um, I was trying to throw this party once, and everyone was over for the weekend. And then my uncle Bernie died. And so me and my best friend, we had to pretend like he was alive. So Wait that... a second. That's weekend at Bernie's. Do you think that this is a game? No, well, there is a ball. All right, we're starting over. Pam? Oh, hey, Jim. Some prankster switched the elevator buttons on Dwight. I did not do this. I know. Yeah, and it was going really great at first. I got video. This is impressive. Well, you know, they don't call me the Bart Simpson of Scranton for nothing. Do they call you that? They do call me that. Ready? Three, two, two one, 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 go!
Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. But you know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing. In our very limited free time, and with our very limited budget, we went and got a nanny, and then we went out and took a class on a very outmoded and very unnecessary form of communication just so we could talk about you in front of you. Yep, that's exactly what we did. It all started when Dwight was tapping his foot against the leg of his desk. When I asked him to stop, he said, I will, when you lose the baby weight. The moment Darla put the cupcake in her mouth, her daddy pulled her aside and said, you're too fat. No one's gonna like you if you're too fat. Next time I saw David Geffen was at the Buffalo Club. I love you, you gay bastard, I said. You gay bastard, I said. Gay ba Gay. Keep Lewis. Now listen here, Gabe. You're too fat. No one's gonna like you if you're too fat. I made some changes to my book. See if you like them. What? Now Chill. I love reading and I hate being interrupted. Shut up and listen, you gay bastard. Chapter one. I was born not into luxury nor poverty, but into adversity. And for that, I thank the Lord. My father was a man. That's all we can know. After I learned to ride a bike, there was no stopping me. I would ride up Magnolia Street and down to Zay. The next movie moves to the top of the queue. So number five becomes number four, number six becomes number five, number three becomes number two, et cetera, et cetera. And let's just say that I just sent back Love Actually, which was awesome. And they sent me Uptown Girls, which is also awesome. But guess what? Now I want to see Love Actually again, but it's at the bottom of the queue. Oh no, what do I do? What I do is this. I go online, I go click, 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 and I change the order of the queue so that I can see Love Actually as soon as I want to. It's so easy, Ryan. Do you really not know how Netflix works? I guess I forgot. <sighs> You're such a dip. Ryan, well done. Two minutes, 42 seconds. Additionally, Pam, you win 10 because she said awesome 12 times. Mm -hmm. And Jim, you win five because she mentioned six romantic comedies. I am on the two kids sleep schedule. So I'm up and at him at 4.15, but no kids. So I honestly didn't know what to do with myself. And then I thought of something. Uh, Here's Dwight, what the? Oh man. What do you think happened? Oh, looks like Jim got mixed up with some bad apples. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't me. I gotta find Luanda at the alcohol club. Oh. This morning, I knocked myself in the head with the phone. That actually took a while. I had to put uh, more and more nickels into his handset until he got used to the weight. And then I just took them all out. Every time I typed my name, it said diapers. Just a simple macro. You know, these actually don't sound that funny one after another. But he does deserve it, though. By the end of the day, my desk was about two feet closer to the copier. Detonator. Detonator, where? Michael! Jim, are you clicking a detonator? It's a pin. Michael, come on. Get back to work, Dwight, please. Fine. <clears throat> hey, tap away. Clear out this cabinet, people. A lot of these are dead accounts. Scranton Mimeograph Corp. I don't think we're doing business with them anytime soon. It's odd. A letter from Robert Dunder. A valuable artifact has come into my possession. I have hidden it until such time as a person of strong intellect may safely recover it. This golden chalice is of immeasurable historical and religious significance. The Holy Grail. Did you send Dwight on a quest for the Holy Grail? I think I'm a little too busy these days to send. Oh my God. 
I did send Dwight on a quest for the Holy Grail. The Dunder Code. I completely forgot about that prank. That had to be like six or seven years ago. Stayed late every night for a month. Had a lot more free time back then. Is everything okay, Michael? Yes. I cannot tell you how I plan to escape other than by using magic. That is the magician's code. Separately, on an unrelated note, if you happen to find a small brass key. Light pen. Night. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I intercepted a transmission earlier, and it seems that the CIA is going to need Dwight down in their headquarters at Langley for training and an ice cream social with the other agents. We should get him a bus ticket to make his trip easier. Oh, no, that would be very good guy. It costs $75. Mm. Well, maybe the CIA could send a helicopter. You have been compromised. Abort mission. Destroy phone. Destroy phone. I don't get it. Aha! A light bulb. Light bulb. A light bulb. Okay. Okay. Invisible ink. Whoa. Higher than numbers go. The ceiling above the county. Dwight! Down, Dwight! Dwight! Man, I wish I was there to see his face when he gets to the end. And finds the fake grail. No grail? You don't remember? I don't. An X. Annex. It must open something in the annex. <gasps> oh. Oh. Sidus and Troiti, seat of entrance. What? That's a flush. The, the warehouse. warehouse. Oh, oh, what is this? A, a meatball? Really? <laughs> it's always more fun to mess with Dwight with an audience. That was usually Pam. So now that she's out, I had to find someone else. Turns out that Stanley is quite the comedy fan. But not everything makes him laugh. He has very specific tastes. Through a painstaking process of trial and error, I found out what he likes. There's nothing down here. Oh, I expected more from young Albert. Just, just, forget it, forget it. Jim, come on, so juvenile. What the? You have been meatballed. <laughs> oh. Are you ready for some meatball? Oh, man. <laughs> this is not very clever, Jim. I know. <laughs> Look for your stapler. <laughs> really, Jim? Really? <laughs> very funny. <laughs> OK, good day. What's a hole? 32 meatballs. Good day. <laughs> that idiot's been feeding us for a week. We'll never have to buy meatballs again. <laughs> <laughs> the minister just told me that it's tradition for the bestish mensch to be older than the groom. Oh, come on. I've never heard of such a thing. I haven't heard of it, obviously. But I'm out because I'm significantly younger than you. Not significant as a big well, word. I think, I think you're. Well, OK, either way, either tea. way. Dwight, I can't be there for you. I'm sorry. 
Jim, I just really wish there was something I could do. That's what she said. <laughs> Best prank ever. <laughs>